Hey, what's going on and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at this type effect that looks blobby and like it's been printed. So basically this comes from print processes. If you're using crappy paper like newsprint or something, the ink would actually bleed into the paper and cause the letters to look really blobby and sometimes even run into each other. And I've seen this effect getting popular in like normcore design styles, um, and I've also seen it used by brands such as Brain Dead and Stray Rats. So one key to this effect is you need like an overly dramatic quote or phrase. Uh, so let's jump into Illustrator and see what we can come up with. Yeah, here we go. Death. That's that's plenty dramatic. And this uh, Dionysus fella. I uh, don't know much about him other than he was in Greek mythology. I went ahead and set this in Neuhaus Grotesque, which is basically just Helvetica. Um, and then pretty much the key to this is I do negative 30 tracking on it. I think having that uh, tight, tight spacing is going to be key to this effect. Add this oval because for whatever reason, ovals are super popular with this look. So I'm pleased with that. I'm ready to bring it into Photoshop. So what I do is I just create a transparent box around my artboard. So as you can see here, this just has no fill, no stroke. I create that around there. So I can just grab everything and then I'll just hit command C to copy this. And once I get Photoshop open, I'm just going to hit command N to create a new document. And then from there, what's really nice about Photoshop is it actually knows what we just copied to our clipboard. So what we copied was 1080 by 1080 pixels. So it has that as an option. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to go ahead down here and hit create document. So here we are in our new document. I'm just going to hit command V to paste in our artwork. It's very important that we paste this in as a smart object because we're going to be adding effects to this and we want the effects to be editable and pasting this as a smart object will allow us to do that. So I'm going to hit OK here. All right. And then here is our artwork in Photoshop. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so y'all can see what I'm doing. And then just make sure down here your layer is selected. I'm just going to name this real quick so we know what we're working with. So make sure that's selected and then come up here to the filter menu. I'll do filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And then let's just go ahead and say, I think four pixels actually here looks really good uh, for the look that we're going to achieve. And again, this is a smart object. So down here, we will be able to change this if we actually wanted to. So let's keep that layer selected and come back up to our filter menu. From here, we're just going to go to sharpen and add unsharp mask. So basically what this is going to do is just going to take that blur and make it look crisp again. Um, so I went through ahead of time and kind of dialed in these settings right here because I think it looks pretty good. So that's 500% for the amount, 300 pixels for the radius. And yeah, I think this looks pretty good. I mean, it looks kind of crappy, but that's basically the whole point of the look. And if you didn't want the letters to really bleed together like this, you just wanted the rounded edges, you would just use less tracking when you're initially setting up your type. So I'm just going to hit OK and zoom out a little bit. And that is the final look. That's how you create this kind of bleedy printed type effect. All right, so that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can get updates when I post future videos and also check out my Instagram account. I'm over there at Von Bursk. Thanks again. Till next time.